Hello guys. Yeah, thanks for tuning in. Uh, I'll be starting in two minutes. So that uh, make sure that you know most of your friends, WhatsApp friends and from Facebook friends, you can share this link anywhere so that your friends will be joining and uh, you'll have fun together. Good morning, Danish. Yeah, I'm absolutely fine. And uh, having you on boarded, uh, you know, it's uh, quite fine and good day for me. Yeah, so today's session is uh, is everything about game so uh, maybe in the real world nobody will ask you you know what are the games that you have played or anything like that but in today's class or today's session you can explore everything it's all about games only so you can you can post the game that you love most uh, you can post the name of the character that you like the most in any game you know the uh, the game you when you play you feel thrilling there's everything about games only so if you have an idea to design or develop a game so we are here okay Okay, so let, let's start guys. So, uh, welcome. Uh, so, Photon is here with me. You can see he's, uh, he's playing a game already. It's uh, something like a racing game. So, he's busy playing game. And uh, Photon, say hi to your friends. Hi, Photon. Okay, he's not listening to me. Okay. Uh, He's too busy in the game. Okay, so uh, as a photon loves uh, to play game, I'm sure uh, you guys also love to do. So perhaps more than me and photon, uh, have you ever wondered, you know, how the game that we play, those are developed? Who are the humans that, you know, actually develop games? Uh, if it's a big shot of ES from you, okay, which I, I see uh, uh, it's a big flood of ES, then it's a, this is the right place for you so and um, hello folks we uh, we are going to learn about game development and all about gaming today i am abhi and this is fortan in the screen you can see so we'll be uh, taking you throughout the course it's a we'll be uh, uh, here for one month uh, every alternate day starting from today at 11 pm uh, 11 am uh, sorry so tune in uh, uh, every alternate day will be here for you. So okay, so I'm representing uh, practically over here. So practical is one of a kind uh, uh, immersive uh, loaded content with immersive experiences and hands-on uh, uh, practicals about your chemistry physics biology science math everything covered 
so uh, you get a personalized uh, mentor over there uh, you can post your questions and those will be uh, get answered very quickly uh, so it's a one to one uh, interaction most of the time and uh, you will get much more uh, interactive and much more prioritize uh, you know facilities in the app uh, so the practically in summer uh, workshop we are offering youtube scratch programming chess uh, math beyond books science beyond books gaming with unity so uh, uh, with math also vector mathematics and uh, those kind of you know minimum things that you know those will be also required for this course so uh, so guys i want to i want to uh, apologize for my poor internet connection so uh, please uh, bear with me and we, we are going to have fun Uh, so we have uh, rewards, uh, weekly rewards, and uh, best project at the end of the session. So you can you can check out in our website, and if you are hundred percent attendee, then you'll receive a surprise gift from us. Uh, then in today's session, we'll be uh, we will explore more about you know games and its history, how it's evolved to this date and uh, the fundamentals of uh, game design how uh, we use a fundamental approach okay from into in design and development of a game uh, then we will get introduced to uh, some of the games that you already may have played or uh, you haven't but we will we'll, uh, take you through then we will choose a specific game engine which is you already know that that is unity uh, we will be exploring Unity, uh, we will download and uh, we will create a project inside and we will start developing games from today itself. Uh, okay, so uh, coming into the history of uh, game development. So, uh, you can see uh, in the early uh, mammals we are. So, the from the monkey to a gamer, you can see how it's evolved. So at the uh, at the time when we used to live in um, uh, caves uh, not we our ancestors uh, so they used to play uh, games with uh, stones okay then then there are checkers came into the picture then then board games then all in early uh, 1960s when a computer developed uh, and uh, the mathematics uh, evolved a new history and the, the computer graphics also got a new face to look then the video games came uh, came into the picture then uh, then when the pc is available in the mostly in every hands then pc games came then gaming consoles that we have from the uh, sega nintendo and uh, we have uh, other consoles like uh, PlayStation, then Xbox, those kind of uh, gaming cons consoles we have, then mobile games that you play more often, then tablet games, then the, the newest inclusion in the uh, gaming industry is uh, VR games and AR games. So the, you may have played uh, AR games like uh, Pokemon Go and VR games I'm not sure but if any one of you went uh, to a mall or anywhere any uh, entertainment park or zone which has a VR headset over there if you have played then then good for you so I'll, I'll check out some of the comments over here uh, okay so minecraft okay so it's a very popular game I, uh, I feel sorry not to mention it in the uh, uh, mm -mm. Okay, what is the, the law? So, uh, you'll be learning basically about, you know, b uh, before learning anything, you uh, go into the history of it. So, it's it's not about, uh, you, you can't say learning, but you'll be, it will be giving you some knowledge. Okay, so moving on. Uh, so what is a game then? 
so uh, I have one definition with me, which uh, which I don't think it's uh, it's it's absolutely correct. The the uh, the correct definition will be always coming from player who plays it. Okay. So it's uh, uh, I'll be I'll be seeing your comment that you know what do you think is a game. Okay, a system with rules. Okay, uh, games are created for enjoying. Okay, entertainment. Absolutely correct. Uh, technological and application. Wow. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay, relax our mind. Absolutely correct. Uh, something we get playing leisure. Yeah, entertainment purpose. Okay. Uh, yeah, but it, it, it also, you know, increase your uh, logical skills as well. Okay, so everything that you're writing over here, that is, that is absolutely correct. So there is no generic, uh, you know, definition of game. Uh, what, we are the players and we, use, we play games more often. So it's, uh, it is us who can define it better than anyone. Okay. Uh, so oh, moving on, uh, we have uh, different game genres over here. Okay, so uh, can you name uh, some of the games from action genre that you have played? Okay, so yeah, first Free Fire. <laughs> okay, so that, that is a very popular game. I'm seeing that kids are kids are playing a lot. Okay, CS:GO. Yeah, correct. GTA. Yeah, PUBG. Okay, so it's banned though. Mm -hmm. But it's uh, yeah, it's it comes into the action. Okay, Minecraft. Uh, Minecraft is a different set of game you will be developing here anyway. Uh, mass guns. Okay, Call of Duty. Absolutely correct. Uh, then uh, adventure. Uh, from adventure, do you know anything? Mm -mm -mm. Okay, adventure. Temple Run. Yeah, I can say. Temple Run, uh, Tomb Raider, okay, Pokemon Go, okay, Pokemon Go is an AR game, okay, anyway, Subway Service, okay, so, uh, have you ever not played uh, Prince of Persia or Assassin's Creed? yeah assistance great okay so that is a, also the newest version is developed inside the unity then uh arcade board game so board game is very popular so i want to hear from you guys so what are the board games you have played recently chess okay monopoly okay ludo king okay so th that is the one yeah, I was absolutely looking for. Okay, so then shooter. So I can see some of the gamer guys also have joined over here. I don't know if you are from the same you know, class nine and ten that we are offering this course, but if you are from uh, that set of uh, students and you play games, stream games online, then you're you are very much welcome over here. Okay, so Call of Duty. Okay, so most of the game you will find in action game. Uh, uh, you will you, you can find in shooter genre also. So it's a kind of a mixed genre game you can say. Uh, so uh, in PUBG, you sh uh, the shooting feature is there and uh, CS:GO, then Call of Duty, all these kind of games. Okay, then uh, in the fighting games, can you uh, so uh, other than the uh, Free Fire, CS:GO, and uh, these games? Okay. 
okay street fight yeah street fight is a one common uh then free fire okay okay cyberpunk yeah okay wwe yeah that's that's one absolutely correct so have you even played mustafa okay so moving on uh, platform games uh, you can say uh, it's a uh, something similar to board games also there's a there are mixed genres as well so puzzle games we know so racing games is also a popular genre so what do you know about uh, racing games what are the games that you have played recently okay yeah nfs okay yeah santosh Froza, okay yeah smith nfs yeah that's correct moto gp anyone played car racing deer driving okay yeah okay uh, then RPG, okay, so uh, the games we play uh, as a third person, those are RPG or uh, um, most of the time you can call them FPS as well, uh, games like uh, Free Fire and uh, CSGO, PUBG, all these kind of uh, games. So one of the most game we had um, in in the gaming history, there's a very popular one uh, in, in RPG genre. So can you name that game? okay okay Ma mario yeah so it's mr crab <laughs> okay so it's a mario i was looking for uh it's a very popular game and uh there is a one of a kind uh, for me it's the first uh rpg uh game that i played in the you know uh my newest color tv with a old very old console with uh compact disc uh, yeah Super Mario Brothers. Okay, then sports game. Sports games. Ronaldo fans are there. Okay. So, Ronaldo fans. Oh, okay. So, you have uh, Killer Shane Axe. Okay. Okay. The FIFA, okay, CS7, <laughs> yeah. So uh, I'm not a big, big uh, CS7 fan though, but I uh, love the way he plays. I'm a big massive fan, can see. So, uh, so sports games are there, uh, like football games. You already know uh, that basketball games and uh, all other golf and everything. Okay. So any Messi fans over here? yeah p is okay so that features uh, barcelona and messi okay okay so and strategy game the like games like prince of persia and all those things are you know strategy games so moving on i think we are uh, spending too much time on chatting okay so so what are the gaming platforms that we have that we uh, we play uh, those games so one is console that we know xbox playstation nintendo switch uh, these are the popular consoles then mobile so we all we, everyone in this world uh, i think uh, can afford a mobile phone the, the adults uh, and teenagers that i'm talking about so the, in the mobile you can play game okay any kind of game you can so the games uh, those are available for consoles and computer and uh, the, the light ver lighter version of those games are available for mobile as well and uh, than the computer games okay so what is the most popular computer game that people place inside uh, in the computer only not in console or mobile can you name one 
या सी एस गो संतोष या इट्स करेक्ट एंड इट्स अ वेरी पॉपुलर दैट वी प्ले सी एस गो मोस्टली ऑन द पी सी देन माइंड क्राफ्ट या हेगड़े मिस्टर हेगड़े ओके ओके या जी टी ए जी टी ए फाइव या वेरी पॉपुलर रैक्सीना ओके ओके सो मूविंग ऑन uh so uh we talked about game genus now we are going to see some of the popular games fr uh, from each genus so the uh, first person shooter fps it's again coming on the um rpg action shooting everything so you can see there is a uh, uh, there is a image for of call of duty so it's call of duty mobile version so anyone uh if you like to uh play uh मोबाइल गेम्स वेरी मच दैन कॉल ऑफ ड्यूटी इज अ वन दैट यू कैन गो फॉर यू कैन ट्राई फॉर एट लीस्ट दैन द फाइटिंग गेम सो मुस्तफा इज हे एंड सो दिस दिस वॉज अ पॉपुलर फाइटिंग गेम दैट दैट आई वॉज टॉकिंग अबाउट वेरी ओल्ड द ओल्ड कॉन्सोल गेम दैन वी हैव थर्ड पर्सन गेम्स लाइक मारियो it's a very old and uh, it's raster graphics game so there are games uh, like victor that you play on mobile phone those are synthetic graphics and those we call as a uh, vector graphics game but the game that you are seeing on the uh, on the picture that is a raster graphics game so the, 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 everything is pixelized over here so if you uh, are already into the scratch programming then you you might be knowing the sprites so the most of the 2d games uh, are being developed in uh, with sprites only okay then we have a strategy games uh, in the strategy game uh, so there are the very popular game was uh, there for the mobile uh, uh, i think i forgot the name so can you can you remind me with the strategy game like uh, making cities and you know uh, exploiting uh, other cities god of war okay civilization okay clash of clans yeah so the at the very popular one uh, thank you mohammed um uh, fortnite okay lots mobile yeah so these are the very uh, popular strategy games that we, we play then racing games need for speed okay uh then here it comes so i think uh, nobody have mentioned the game name uh, doom so it's uh, the the game we play uh using the internet so it's a multiplayer game and when we talk about open world games uh so those are massively multiplayer online games so th those are mmos we call okay so uh, pubg is an uh, mmo then free fire is an mmo then doom you can see over here then uh, cs go those are mmo games so those are multiplayer online games but those are massive then rpg so here comes is gta from i think it's uh, gta from gta 2 this follow then we have board games the pool and all sort of chess then we have uh, ludo the very popular one uh uh during this lockdown basically uh then sport games so it's a, a pes pro evolution soccer so i play this game very much so i don't play any other game can say then uh vr games virtual reality games so it's a it's a game named as a beat server so there the music will be playing and uh and the uh, there will be cubicle blocks will be coming towards you you have to break those to make a make a good beats for the you know uh, the background music so that is a vr game and for ar game how many of you uh, have played uh, pokemon go po pokemon go players raise your hand <laughs> okay Okay, so you if you uh, haven't played it yet, 
you know go and uh, if it's available i haven't checked uh, recently but if it's available then you must uh, download and play it so to get the experience of uh, uh, vr and ar you can try out our practically app so it has a, a massive number of contents that supports your virtual reality mobile virtual reality and augmented reality as well so argumentary uh, augmented reality apps are cool in the uh, app so whatever you get you just explore it okay so you get uh, i think it you will get uh, 30 minutes of free exploration uh, time for the app so download it and you can write to play time okay so uh, now as we uh, as we know a bit of you know games uh, uh, mm -mm, uh, games how those games uh, cool those games are now we are going to talk about you know how we develop games so so in each of the industries that we have um, in the human civilization so each industry follows a fundamental pipeline okay so it doesn't matter it uh, developed uh, by one person or a team or a large number of teams okay so uh, so talking about uh, the gaming industry it also follows a fundamental pipeline so what is the pipeline so at the first we got storyboard okay so storyboard is uh, is nothing but in a, each of the motion graphics or animation or movies it, anywhere uh, even if you are uh, uh, creating a youtube video you must be uh, uh, you must be having a script of it so okay so the for the first uh, 20 minutes or anything uh, i'll be doing this one so i'm i'm pre i'm presenting a presentation over here so that is also one kind of you know visual demonstration so it's also a kind of you know storyboard that we can say so uh, so for this particular time i am talking about storyboard okay so like that in games also so in games also uh, we we must have something so that it guide guides us throughout the development right so that is we have a storyboard so it's a visual demonstration so people who are uh, you know good artist uh, 2d sketch artists so they uh, they uh, draw some sketches they make uh, 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 make a scene of comics out of it uh, like the example of uh, angry bird you can say then uh, spider-man uh, uh, then then there are other popular than prince of persia uh, then those are the popular you know games movies animations we have as a uh, as a coming uh, coming from one story so so you have if you have a story and in a story there will be several characters will be available so some might be the uh, enemies and one may be the hero then the hero will be killing the enemies to reach out to something or fulfill his destination and every, everything so uh, keeping that story in front and you will be designing those characters and uh, you'll be uh, making up you know uh, drawing and designing the scenes as well so those scenes uh, will become your uh, your guide or your visual to develop the game and uh, if you want to go for the uh, animation movie as well you can do that like it's a very good example it's uh, angry bird so you can see it it has animation movies uh, for the uh, angry bird one and angry bird two and it has uh, games as well okay and then 3d art so whatever you got from the storyboard all the characters all the environment props you, you know uh, in your if your story is uh, related to some uh, retro or it's like the environment should look like 1980s or you know 18 18th centuries so you 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 are going to you know design a 3d art of it uh, uh, keeping that scenario in mind okay so you design the complete environment as it is looking like it's 18th century so uh, world war z and all the zombies kind of games that you play 
those are uh, sci-fi and you, you you get to see most of the things that uh, that that is not relatable to the real world so that is fictional and they have designed a, a, a massive uh, you know storyboard for that uh, for those kind of you know movies games and everything then uh, so 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 those characters that you got from the storyboard you will be 3d modeling uh, those things and uh, along with the environment props then you have to animate those uh, all the characters and uh, if any environment uh, props you want to get it animated you have to do it in a 3d art phase only so we have a storyboard then we completed 3d art of that storyboard then environment design so whatever environment props you have 3d modeled in in 3d art phase you can bring those into uh, environment design and you will be placing those around uh, a open world so where we where we uh, place those uh, props and players it's inside game engine so inside the game engine you will be designing the environment uh, uh, along with all the challenges wh where the challenges uh, will be coming from uh, towards the player so those kind of designing you will be doing in the environment design so those are labels uh, as we can say so uh, the the some of the games that we have uh, like uh, subway sauce then a temple run those are endless running games okay so it, it doesn't have a label so those are endless okay so then you'll be you'll be uh, designing the lighting as well for uh, for your game okay so how it's going to look like when we uh, uh, when we play the game in in front of any system console or mobile then uh, for the uh, then you design interactions uh in inside it so this is the phase uh, environment design phase and interaction phase and mechanics everything we will be doing inside a game engine only so 3d art we use a uh, 3d modeling uh, engine or 3d modeling software to 3d model it storyboard is is a is a, a digital art you can do if uh, if you can but uh, we prefer it's more on hand sketch okay so it's a sketchbook and it's a bibliography we say when you develop games so then interact okay so i think i'm back uh yeah so uh, i was in interaction phase so what do you think by ui okay so i'll get some of the comments okay so user interface so user interface is a uh, very important for a game to understand uh, uh, you know how the games should be played and how the uh, uh, how the into in flow should look like and as intuitive uh, as you uh, as a ui is you will understand the game very easily okay then camera so the camera interaction whether the camera will be placed as a third person or you'll be it is see through those kind of you know designing or logical implementation we do inside a uh, inside a game engine in the interaction phase then we have mechanics then uh, what are the uh, different attack options we uh, we want to have in mechanics what are the different kind of weapons that we want to keep for uh, our player then uh, artificial intelligence uh, uh, you know if our player reach uh, uh, reaches to uh, uh, to a certain point then those enemies will be activated uh, and how they are going to attack to a player and how uh, if if there are any uh, uh, in escape path for our uh, our player how we can we can guide him through that escape path you know those kind of uh, designing and my uh, uh, designing of artificial intelligence and all this kind of thing we uh, we do it inside mechanics phase so uh, if you played a zombie uh, related game so it, it is very common that if you reach out to some point so it's not uh, uh, so when you start uh, start playing that game so it's uh, it's not obvious that uh, 
that you started playing the game and enemies are coming to attack you it's not so when you reach out to some point when you uh, you you uh, go into some buildings or a place where you know, zombies are gathered so so at that point of time the attack option of the zombies will be activated and they'll be uh, they'll uh, they'll start attacking you okay so those kind of uh, those kind of logics and mechanics we design inside a game engine then uh, then for the player the moment and its health then how long you know a player can uh, uh, a player can be alive in a game and what are the different you know healing options that he, uh, that a player will have so it's a kind of a fighting game or action game or anything and also in the running games english uh, runner or any games uh, that you play uh, the the health is involved even in sports games as well so a player that you are playing if you played fifa or ps so a player is playing for the complete uh, 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 10 minutes or 90 minutes inside the game so uh, you, you'll you'll get to see that that player's health is dropping okay so when it's a zero then that player won't be able to run and those sort of stuffs then then after uh, developing everything we test it uh, with different gamers like you uh, uh, so those are we call beta testers and alpha testers so if uh, those uh, testing stages are passed then we go for a platform uh, de uh, deployment so platform deployment is nothing but installing uh, installing that game into different uh, uh, gamers phone or that will be available in the uh, play store and you can download it any player can download it and they can play so there's a platform a deployment phase uh, so those kind of from the storyboard and 3d art we use different kind of software but for the environment design uh, interaction mechanics player platform deployment this phase we do inside a, a game engine only okay so uh, talking about storyboarding uh, what do you understand uh, by uh, storyboard so uh, keeping the definition in the mind is a storyboard is a graphic organizer that consists of uh, in, uh, illustrations or images displayed in sequence for the purpose of pre-visualizing a motion picture animation motion graphic or interactive media sequence okay so so i'll be uh, I, I already told you what uh, a storyboard is uh, i think uh, you can you can name some of the uh, some of the storyboard or comics that you have you know read already then uh, for the storyboard you can see so uh, so over here you can see these uh, the a sketch of spider man this is the first one then this is the second one with a pose this is a third one full body with a different kind of pose then is the final one so the, we got a character okay then uh, coming to the iron so uh, uh, do uh, do i have actually i have i have to put this uh, spider man and iron man i thought about we will be having uh, you know more mcu fans are we so are you as mcu fan Okay, so what is the character you uh, like most in MCU? <laughs> okay, Ishan, uh, you seem to be like very enthusiastic about MCU. Then Shankar, yeah, okay. Uh, okay, Ravi. Okay. Uh, iron man okay so uh chetan likes thor okay i too like thor uh iron man spider man okay so uh swami spider man okay and then thor okay so captain america what is captain america okay so we got uh sun milk okay so okay the hulk okay so big hulk so it's a lucky's then 
okay so hari teja says uh, captain marvel okay okay so that is the newest inclusion okay so it has she has a you know super power okay okay uh, so swami batman is uh, not from mcu it's from uh, it's from another uh, you know comic world uh, sorry i forgot the name black widow cap okay okay dc yeah okay okay yeah so it's a dc comic universe that has uh, aquaman and uh, i think wonder woman then uh, batman then joker okay so keshav uh, likes thor uh, okay sorry thanos okay okay so we have thanos fans also okay yeah then groot okay uh so yeah those characters are uh, you as you already know so uh, mcu have their uh, uh comics then after they came into the you know movie industry so so they had a set of uh you know comics or stories that uh, that they thought you know uh, uh those can you know attract uh, people so then they started uh releasing movies about those and those are those are uh, pretty successful as you can say so here uh, uh talking about uh, storyboarding so we have iron man so th this is how you design a character this is how you if you have a fictional character in your mind you have a story fictional story in your mind how you do uh, how you you know uh, uh, how you create a picture of those so you you uh, uh, you uh, sketch those characters uh, from the story then different characters if it has uh, uh, 10, 5, 2, 3, doesn't matter. So those three characters you will be sketching and you, you'll give them pose as uh, 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 as with their you know, strength and weaknesses and everything. Then uh, according to their uh, strength and weakness, you can uh, you can uh, place into the game or or uh, or any animation or anything that you want to uh, you know design related to uh, game development so uh, if you all how many of you have uh, watched uh, jumanji so any uh, so in the jumanji also you so uh, you, thinking of a game developer point of view jumanji is a good movie to watch so there, there you, you see it, it has a story, it's a, a game universe, uh, it's a, a very uh, important to have health, strength, weaknesses and there are some portals where you will get extra health or extra, uh, uh, you know, weapons, those kind of things. Okay, so moving on, then, then with those uh, uh, characters uh, you have in the story then you make a character family of it like avengers we have right over here then uh, this is a comic book story and uh, this is the one we get to see in the movies okay so uh, uh, the, giving the shape and color and uh, every strength and weaknesses everything in the uh, in the comic book itself so they have a strong uh, uh, point to release those movies right so uh, and uh, if you see if you relate everything with the comic book and the movie you'll get to see most of the things are common uh, uh, all the scenes as well okay so so this is the one uh, this is uh, one of the comic scenes um, uh, that we have so i took it from uh, google only and then so here is the thor you can see then spider-man who is who is this guy and this is we know it's Thanos okay and who is this guy can you name those okay okay so uh so this is a, uh, this is a, this is how we design a comic scene and all 
moving on uh, so what is the first step in game development this is quiz time so what do you think it's a or b or c or d So, uh, Keshav says it's uh, C, 3D modeling. Uh, sorry to say, but Keshav, you are absolutely wrong. <laughs> okay, so yeah, people who are telling B, uh, Shuri Babu and all you guys are correct. So, it's it's uh, it's a B only. Okay, so uh, storyboard is the uh, uh, the most important thing we have. So. If you have a strong story and a strong character, uh, then then it, uh, the game will be uh, pretty successful. And with the game also you can release uh, animations and all this kind of stuff. So if you are planning to have a new game in the world, you must be starting with storyboard only. Okay. So uh, yeah, moving on. Uh, okay. Now now we will talk about the game engines okay so here the here the fun part is coming uh so before uh diving into unity so we must uh you must have downloaded unity some uh, some of you but whoever haven't downloaded i'll uh, take you through how you can download and you can register for uh practically with unity student uh, program and how you can get free access and free student license uh, for the development okay so we have uh, we have pasted the link in the description you can you can uh, you can download unity from there so i hope my browser is visible uh, for you guys okay so uh so if you click on that link so this unity student uh this page will arrive uh then for getting access if you click on get access it will, it will take you through uh through the website and it will stop here uh, you can um, authorize if you already have uh registered inside unity so I think my it's already registered. So okay, so for better I'll and okay so here you register uh, for unity okay then uh, any of the version you have if you have downloaded that is correct uh, uh, you can work on uh, that uh, unless we will uh, be giving you a uh, system dependent version okay you can start working on that so you can put your email so i already have registered for unity so if you haven't you can uh, simply if you have a google account you can click on google and uh, you have to sign in the google um, so if you are signed in with google and you can click on next and uh, your uh, your account will be registered so after registering after registering you have to authorize uh, github okay so i uh, as i am not a student uh, school student basically so i cannot you know make it through uh, for you it will uh, if you authorize 
your account with github so how you open a github account you go to github.com okay uh, the the direct link is uh, given below at the description so click on education and github student developer pack you click there and get your pack okay so students you can see individuals get student benefits so it's asking me to log in so i log in uh, okay so i have logged in to be to qualify for student benefits you must be currently enrolled in a degree or diploma granting course or of study such as high school secondary school college university uh, then github user account be at least 13 years old okay so this email address uh, email address for school or you can if you have a school email account uh, you can uh, put whatever you have so your name at the rate your school name dot com kind of thing uh how do you plan to use github you can say for development or learning okay your name of your school okay so you can see dav public school chandra shakarpur amritesar so, so if you are from dav or any of the common schools you can uh pick your names from here then click on continue then it will guide uh, it will ask you for your student id card if you upload it then your uh, within few days your account will be activated so anyway anyway uh, even if uh, you uh, if it's taking a longer than usual then you can uh, you can directly download unity so uh, this link is uh, given below at the uh, description you can download unity from there so click on download it will be the unity hub will be downloading okay so if after downloading you open it and uh, you install the software and as i have already installed so i have unity hub over here okay and uh i'll create a new project okay so if you have uh, downloaded unity hub or you have downloaded uh, all all the required installations or uh, uh, then you can uh, directly uh, go to projects and uh, create a new project but if you are not then you have to add one okay so how you install one unity version so unity hub is uh, all about uh, you know having multiple uh, unity versions inside the system it will manage all the projects uh, it will it will link up through the right one uh, for your project and if you if you uh, if you don't have any of the installations you can go to add and you can select a version from here okay so the recommended recommended uh, and re latest release is uh, 2020.3.5 f1 so it is lts version so lts versions are long term support so unity keeps uh, upgraded up, uh, upgrading or updating their uh, software so some of the updates it may not be compatible with your project so what they do uh, they, they they keep on uh, developing things and when they think that uh, it's uh, it's it, it can go for final production then they include it into the LTS releases so long term support it is so it doesn't have any issues uh, reported by uh, all the debuggers or all the gamer guys or designer or developer guys but uh, I'll I'll be uh, I'll be using uh, this version or this version of Unity so you can install any of those okay. 
So whoever have installed 2020.3.5 F1, it's uh, it's correct. You can you can start it. Uh, you can start uh, uh, creating your projects in it. Then I'm running out of time. Okay, so I have five minutes more. So I'll quickly take you through. If anyone of you think uh, th uh, think like uh, missing some of the uh, some of the stuffs, so you can come back to the video and you can uh, watch it from here. So, so clicking on new, it will give you this window. So you have to name your project. So I'll be naming this as a okay summer course rollerball game uh, so this is my project name so this is the location it will be saving so unity it's a lot, uh, lot more uh, uh, storage spaces so uh, it's preferred to you know keep uh, empty space for all the unity projects that you have then click on create it will uh, it will start creating all the necessary things for you and it, uh, the window will be opened of unity and so i'll take some of your comments if you haven't underst understood okay so i'll take some of your comments you can quickly tell me that if you're facing any problem you, you have installed unity but there are some problems are coming Yeah, you, you, uh, Abhishek, you can always uh, come back and rewatch this video. Uh, no, you cannot uh, do it on phone. Okay, okay. So we'll, uh, I'll take you through. If it's asking for license, then what do you have to do? okay now uh, you you don't for uh, started developing immediately you don't need to wait for github verification and everything uh, so this uh, so this is the unity hub and if you click on settings so this is license management and here it may ask you for a license okay so uh, you'll get these two options over there okay activate new license and manual activation okay so i'll i so for you i want to activate a leon license so it's unity professional or unity plus or pro okay so as my account is uh, i'll be log i want to log from this account okay so return on license yes. So I'll sign in here with my personal account. So here you can see I've uh, I've I've signed in with my uh, personal account, and mm -hmm. you can see it's Unity Personal is asking, okay? So it's asking for uh, the company or organization I represent and less than one million dollars, so which it's not. So I'll go for I don't even use Unity as a professional capacity. Okay. 
So, so uh, after that, it will activate the license. So, you, that is how you can activate your license, uh, the personal license for Unity. Okay. So, now the Unity is open right here for me. Okay. So, this is how you get an uh, layout is default layout. So, I am using, a, so this is the default layout you will get for your editor. So, this is the, this Unity application uh, you are seeing on the screen. We call it as a IDE. So, IDE is, is a integrated uh, development environment so where we develop uh, software, we develop uh, games, we, we write code and everything. So, it integrates all the uh, game components like 3D model animation and program and uh, lighting all these stuff and it will give you a visual output of a game. So, I have a cube over here. Uh, you can move it with this uh, move tool. So, there are tools available. This is a hand tool to pan around. This is move tool to move a object. This is rotation tool to rotate a object. This is scale tool to scale a object. This is a rectangle tool to uh, increase the size of an object from a certain uh, point. Then it is mixed tool. So, you, you will get all the tools mixed over here. The movement, rotation and scaling. Then you can customize all the tools. Uh, uh, customize your tool and you can uh, you can um, uh, you can edit the edit with this editor over here then I, ca I can add another object so I've added one spare so the everything that you add in the scene so it it is uh, it is not necessary but it will be uh, you know placed in a position of x y z so if you uh, understand vector mathematics uh, so this is a 3d world and it has a it, everyone has a position on a 3d world so the position for this uh, sphere is at uh, 0 0 0 somewhere at 0 0 0 so so our cube position is also somewhere at 0 0 0 so that is why the, those are overlapping so we can move the sphere out of the uh, uh, cube so i want to give it some colors so uh, i'll create one material so material is a uh, it it will give color to the objects okay so i want to i want to paint it with uh, some red color to the sphere and I want to create another material it should be green okay okay so this is how you can paint your uh, objects so if you want to if you if you don't like the way it looks you can always click on the material and inspect it window you from for the uh, from the albedo you can change the color from there okay so this is how basically we uh, edit things inside unity and it has scene view uh, so this scene view we uh, edit things we add objects we uh, make all sort of animations and everything in the scene window and in the game window we get to see the game view of it okay so here in the scene, uh, the main camera is already placed. So with the main camera, uh, if I move the camera, you can see the game uh, view is also moving. Okay, so if my camera is over here, you can see the camera have moved. So a camera helps you to uh, uh, to uh, to see a three D world. Okay, so you can place the camera near to the object. Okay. So, uh, uh, visualizing a 
RPG or third person game. So if this is a person, uh, so spare if a spare is a head of this object. Okay. So the game. Um, so you can move the view, uh, view around with the with the tools over here. Okay. and uh, now in the game view you can see so uh, the camera have moved so if i play right now so i'll get to see the game window okay so this is a game window and it's it there is nothing happening over here so so all the movement and stuffs we'll be doing in the next session so for the last uh, agenda that we have for today I will, uh, I want to give you a bit of exploration about an asset store. So Unity has an asset store. So all the kind of 3D model image animation that we talk about, uh, we call those asset for a, uh, for game development. So Unity ha has a, uh, a very good asset store or you can, you can uh, download assets from anywhere in the internet images or anything. You can you can rightly drag and drop it uh, inside a Unity's project, and you can use it for your game. Okay, so here, uh, here you can see there are a lot of uh, assets are available. Uh, most of them them are paid, but you will get uh, a good amount of free stuffs also. So I search for standard assets. So standard assets are provided by unity so yeah here you can see so i have as i have already purchased it i mean it's free but when you add it into your account it will show as purchased so you click on it uh, it if uh, you haven't purchased it and you already haven't downloaded it you have to download it then uh so after downloading, you can import all the stuffs over here. You can see, you'll get Ethan, you'll get a car, uh, uh, you'll get uh, uh, aircraft, wheels, all these kind of stuffs. So any any questions up to now? Okay, so it's uh, downloaded and I want to import it into my project. So uh, if I click on import, so this window will come. So it is asking me what the other stuffs that I want to import into the uh, game. So it's importing scripts. So after importing and uh, placing some of the some of the objects on the scene, so that that is it for today. So uh, in tomorrow's uh, or upcoming session that we have day after tomorrow, um, we will uh, will be starting with environment design and how we can animate objects on the scene, uh, how we can uh, use those in our game. Okay, so the final game that we will be developing that is a go kart uh, racing game that you already know, and for the for the understanding of the pipeline, we will be developing another game that is a roller ball. So roller ball is also a kind of you know endless uh, running game. So you pick up coins uh, from the uh, environment by moving in.
Okay. So we have its standard asset. And mm -mm -mm, characters. Okay. So I will place one plane. So I have a plane over here and that plane I want to color it as a green. Okay. Then standard material folder going to characters. Then rollerball first person character prefabs. Uh, third person character prefabs. I'll add Ethan over here. Now you see. Now you see uh, there is a character placed in the scene. Okay. So this is Ethan. Okay. So I want to move my camera also. Okay. So uh, my camera is moved to this area. And uh, Ethan needs one. So let me play it and we will see. Yeah, so so it has an animation component attached and now you can see that Ethan is moving. Okay, it's moving on the scene view as well. Okay. So it's, it, it, it uh, now it is in his uh, idle position uh, but he can move if we uh, put some codes into it so so guys that is it for today so uh, i'm i'm waiting for you to join the next session that is after uh, day after tomorrow so thank you uh, be safe uh, help your uh, uh, help your family to follow all the covid protocols and be safe at home Thank you.